Hi, welcome to the Richest. My name is Kate, and today I'm going to have book run round six. Can we believe it is June already? That is crazy. Book run is a game I play every month to find out my TBR for the month by rolling a dice. I'll go through and explain the board to you. Last month, book run, re, book, that was hard to say. Last month, book run picked me 10 books to read, which I've read all but one of, and it's actually not the end of the month, so I'm going to say that I don't have any extra rolls. I've already talked about my opinion on a lot of them, but if there's anyone you're particularly interested in, let me know, and I will do a wrap up video. So let's get started with the first roll. Just a quick run through of the board. Red squares are romance, blue squares are sci-fi or fantasy, green squares are historical fiction, classic or non-fiction, yellow is a mystery or a thriller, and the orange cones represent hazards, which is an orange card, and if I land on one with those, I'll pull it and they're just less desirable prompts. So we'll see how we do today. We've missed the hazards the last few rounds, so let's see how we go. Okay, roll number one is a three. It's a small start. One, two, three is a sci-fi or fantasy. And that one is to continue a series. So the first one was a sci-fi fantasy to continue a series. And I have been wanting to read Charmcaster by Sebastian de Cancel, which is the third one in the Spellslinger series for ages. So I'm so glad I finally got a one that fitted this because I really want to continue the series. This is a series about a boy who has a different kind of magic to everyone else in his like world. And he um, is cast away from his family to go live basically in the wilderness and he starts learning a particular type of magic to do with cards hence why the books look like playing cards and he meets this like squirrel rat guy which I'm 100% sure what he is I can't remember but it's a really good series and I'm so looking forward to continuing it's a six book series so I'll be halfway through when I finish this one and so I'm really glad I got on the TBR this month roll number two is a three again oh my goodness there's gonna be a lot of books one two three is a mystery or a thriller And that's historical mystery. The next one was to pick a historical mystery for Mr. Three or Thriller. And I have picked to continue on with the Royal Spiner series, which is a series I love. If you're not new to my channel, you'll hear me talk about the series a lot. It follows a girl called Georgie who's distantly aligned to the throne and is often given bizarre um, quests to go on by the Queen to monitor people or spy on people or solve mysteries and basically avoid disgracing the royal family and they never realise that she has no money of her own so that she gets in all sorts of scrapes um, to do with her family and all sorts of things. So in this one um, our lady Georgina is um, down in Italy because her fiancé has gone off to solve another mystery and her friend is in a spot of bother so she goes to Italy to help her figure everything out. Um, if I gave away too much at this point, we'd give away most of the series up to date, and I highly recommend the series. I really recommend it to everybody. It's so much fun. So i um, really looking forward to reading this one, and I'm glad I got to continue a series that I'm already in the middle of. Row number three is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is another mystery or thriller. And that's the highest rated one on Goods Reads. Roll number three was to read the highest rated on your Goodreads. And trust me, I'm as surprised as you when I found out the highest rated mystery or thriller on my Goodreads was a Murder, She Wrote book. This book is so battered. This is what getting books in thrift stops looks like sometimes, but I love the Murder, She Wrote series. I think this is the first one I ever brought, um, but there's no audio book for it, so I never really got around to it, but I will definitely read it this month. Um, in this one, Jessica Fletcher travels to England um, on the QE2, I think. I think she goes on the QE2. Yeah, Queen, Queen Mary too. Um, she's getting a chance to have a relaxing trip when a Scotland Yard inspector calls her to help him solve a mystery. So that sounds really fun. I'm glad I'm finally getting to this book. Um, I am so surprised it's the highest on the Goodreads, but people love this series, so I suppose I shouldn't be that surprised. But um, a lot of mystery thriller books have very mixed ratings. They normally sit a bit lower, so that's probably why this was 4.8. So I'm very excited to finally continue this series. Roll number four is 11. And that's historical fiction, classic, or non-fiction. And that is to read a newly purchased book. We landed on a newly purchased book in the classics, um, historical fiction, or non-fiction genre. And I think the most recent one I've purchased, and it was in my recent book haul, is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And I do want to read more classics. This is an absolutely stunning copy in the Chilton um, editions, which is just so pretty. So I do want to read. I have read um, one of her sister's works, but I've never read an Emily Bronte's so my first one. And Wuthering Heights is the book, I believe, I think I've listened to it on audiobook as a child, but I don't have any memory of it, apart from, I think it's the one she keeps running around yelling Heathcliff. Is that the right one? Am I remembering the right one? And um, so I don't know a huge amount about the plot of this book, but I do believe it runs a lot of running around on the moors and um, 
heavy romance and gothic vibe so i am excited to read it and it probably is better that i don't know too much about it going into it but yeah very excited for that plus it's so pretty it's always nice to read a pretty book Row number five is five. One, two, three, four, five. Another mystery thriller. This is going to be a big TBR. A cozy mystery. The next row was another mystery or a thriller, and it was a cozy mystery. So it's an excellent chance to read what's this month Agatha Christie book. Every month the Agatha Christie Foundation give a prompt to read a book in the Agatha Christie's world. This is a Hercule Poirot mystery, which I love. He's probably my favourite of the, her characters. And this one is The Hollow. He's invited to an English country house, and a woman is found standing over her deceased husband, I believe, um, holding the revolver, and they try to figure out what has happened and how it all got to this point. So that sounds really good. And um, I do think Agatha Christie goes in the cozy mystery genre please let me know if you disagree with that but i think this one counts and so i'm excited to be able to get this one on my main tbr row number six is nine one two three four five six seven eight nine we might miss all the hazards again that is a sci-fi fantasy and that is a ya or middle grade sci-fi fantasy Run number five was a sci-fi or a fantasy, and I got pick a YA or a middle grade, which was an excellent opportunity to read a middle grade series I started a long time ago, and I've wanted to see me for ages. And that is the um, Pages and Co series, or Tilly and the Book Wonders, it's also called. And this is the second one, The Lost Fairy Tales. And this girl has the ability to walk through books in her grandparents' bookstore. And she has also the sort of usual trouble as a child has, so she has her real life, and she also has this magical world that she can escape to. And the first one, she went to hang out with Anna Green Gables, which is my personal dream, and all sorts of amazing stories. And in this one, she has Little Red Riding Hood, um, Jack and the Beanstalk. It's more fairy tale based than classic literature based, and I'm very, very excited to continue the series. It's so sweet and just fun, and just a really, really lovely storybook. So I'm very excited to continue that series. Making some progress on series. Row number seven, humongous TBR incoming, is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Another mystery or thriller. And that one is to begin a new series. And that was our last roll. Next was another mystery thriller, and it was to begin a series. And the only series I think I have at the moment that I'm not even part way through is um, Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. I don't know what this name... Oh, Shades of London is going to be called. And um, this one is by the writer of the... Um, oh, I can't remember what the series she wrote, but I'll put it up here. I love the original trilogy in this series. So when I saw this in the thrift shop, I really wanted to give it a go. And it's about a girl who moves from Louisiana to London and starts to be stalked by a copycat killer, possibly, of Jack the Ripper, which sounds amazing. So I'm very excited to read this book. So I'm glad to begin a new series came up. Plus, I think it's the only series I have that had the first one that I haven't read any of them. So perfect in many ways. So this is my TBR for this month. I have got seven books. I've got um, Charmcaster by Sebastian D. Cassell, a book in the Murder, She Wrote series, The Queen's Jewels, I believe it's called, um, a Royal Spinus number 11, I think we're at two now, um, The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, uh, Pages and Co. number two by Anna James, The Hollow by Agatha Christie, and um, Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights. So it's a nice eclectic TBR for this month. Please let me know if you've read any these books and what your thoughts on them were. Please let me know how your TBR is turning out for this month. Please do like if you enjoy, subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.